Hey, it's your Jelly Mama here and today I'm working with the fabulous Kiki London to show you how you can achieve these four easy spring nail designs. And obviously I'm going to be using colours from their new spring collection and also a couple from their old collection as well because they are still gorgeous even though they were last season's colours. Um, so all of the details of these products and the polishes that I've used will be in the description box below with a link so if you click on that it will take you to their store if you want to purchase any of their products. So this is design one and obviously these are meant to be four individual designs I mean if you want to wear them all together be my guest but yeah but this is just some some designs really that you can use over the spring season if you want to be having the gorgeous spring colours on your nails. So what I'm going to do now is kind of like fill in the gaps and I didn't do all this all together because you can find that they can all sort of merge together and you don't and you lose that kind of like striped effect. So this is really simple to do because it's just a case of a few swipes of the brush but doesn't it look so pretty? So the second one is going to be like a water marble hack. I have done a few designs of these on this channel already. I can leave a link um, to the playlist of those if you want to check those out. So basically I'm just going to be adding the colours and I'm just going round and round and round. So it's going to be like filling it in a radial way. But I love this method because I can't water marble and I'm sure there's many out there that can't do the... Um, water marbling technique either so this is a way for you to kind of get that look and I think it's less messy as well as long as you clean up your cuticle area and your side walls before curing and um, that's it then all done so yeah so I'm just adding the colors all the way around I probably should, I, I wanted this to be a little bit more even than um, it was but it will co all come together in the end and then what you're going to do to create the water marble look is just drag your brush through the polishes and it just sort of spreads the colours across the nail so that I kind of do like four first and then I fill in the gaps and if, as you can see I am putting the brush and I'm bringing the, using the brush in the exact same way all the way around the nail. So it kind of looks as symmetrical as it can do. Now if you're not happy with how it kind of looks in the middle, you can kind of like come in and add more colours after it's been cured and you can kind of add a little bit of a focal point if you want. So moving on to design three now, you are going to be um, kind of doing like a fan brush gradient. So I'm going to be putting the colours obviously across the nail like so. Um, trying to keep the um, block of colour kind of the same amount as possible um, but I, am abs I do absolutely love these spring colours that Kiki London have brought out I have reviewed them um, so again I can leave a link to that if you've not seen them um, looking back on this I probably should have done this yellow a little bit thicker it was a little bit too thin and you'll see the reason for it when I start using the uh, fan brush but what I do love about every design of these, that you you are going to be able to create it, um, you know, whatever skill level that you're at. Um, because it's just a case of a few brush strokes or something like that. Um, but the end result is really, really effective. So I'm just going to add this last colour now. So you want to get your fan brush. This is what one of these looks like. And then I'm kind of dragging the colour into the middle. If you want, you could just drag it right across the nail, but I think this is adds another aspect of it, which I like. And then I bring the colours back on themselves. So obviously where it's all a bit smooth, you can kind of go over it again with the fan brush to get that sort of, you know, stripey look. So this is where I should have used the yellow more because I could have blended it in a bit more and broke up this like greeny colour at the bottom. So actually after I cured it, I came back in with that yellow and added the colours again and again came in with that fan brush just because I wanted it to look a bit more messy as opposed to it being um, quite smooth. So you can always do things like that as well. So if at first you don't succeed, add some more colour and fan brush again. <laughs> And this technique, it is great, you know, if you want to do like a sunset mani, but it's a bit more textured and things like that, that's a great way 
um, to use the fan brush as well and this one is real simple you just add in dots down the center of the nail i say real simple actually it can be quite tricky getting all of the dots to be the exact same size and putting it down your nail straight but it can be done and like i said if you mess up because it's gel you can just wipe it off and start again and that is it and this is kind of how they all look together which i still do actually think it quite works it might be a bit too much for some but you can take these individual designs and use them on your nails and they're going to look stunning over the spring season um and i thought i would show you it in matte so i actually in person i think i prefer it in glossy but for picture purposes and for seeing the details the matte does show it a little bit better but obviously you can choose which finish that you want um, so thank you so much for watching Jelly Babes, um, please press that free subscribe button and support the fabulous Kiki London, give this video a thumbs up and we always love to read your comments. So until next time, take care, bye.